what's going on everybody, Mal here. How are you guys doing today? First off, I'm sorry for the ambient noise. I usually don't record during the day because of that, which is rain plus traffic plus screaming people on the street. I have no idea what's going on. Maybe it's the zombie apocalypse. Either way, today we're talking about a mouse. My first, well, second wireless mouse ever. The first one was a Apple Magic Mouse and I, I, I am ashamed but now I'm cured, so relax. It's just like this sort of mice from now on. This is the Razer Viper Ultimate. I've been a fan of Razer mice for the past several years. None of them have ever broken on me, so I am thrilled to actually be testing this guy. Because right wasn't when I was like dead sure I'm gonna buy one right now, I was looking at the G Pro Wireless at the same week that this one came out, and I do not regret it for a second. This bundle is awesome. Bundle because it comes with a, a we're, we're gonna get to it. So, I'm a little bit late to the lightweight wireless mouse gaming scene scenario with a bunch of stuff on the market already, but at the end of 2019, I mean, no better time to hop on than right now, right? And this is definitely among the priciest, and I mean, it's Razer, you can expect them to price stuff a little bit high, but honestly, this is the champ. As far as I'm concerned, from every wireless mouse I've tested so far, this is the champ. Now, a bunch of little details on the spec sheet, so let's go through it. This uses a hyperspeed wireless technology that Razer claims is 25% faster than other wireless tech in the market. In theory, from my tests with the G Pro Wireless, the G903 and the G603 or 630, I never remembered it, got the numbers. Uh, from my test with those, before I settled to actually having this permanently on my desk, I could not tell a difference in the wireless connection between all of them. So if it is improved or better, awesome. If it's not, if it's basically just the same, Still awesome, because I cannot tell a difference between this and a wired connection. An optical 20,000 DPI sensor, because I mean, why not, right? There are eight programmable buttons. The scroll wheel is tactile and lightweight and awesome. It doesn't have like free spinning like the G stuff. It ju it's just like a normal scroll wheel, but it's a really good one. An optical click switch with 0.2 milliseconds response time, which is awesome. Like it doesn't have a deep bounce rate and it's instant. You This, you can actually feel a difference with, you know, non-optical switches and actual gaming using the mouse, you can tell. Oh, and obviously since we're talking about the switches, which are exclusive to these two buttons, actually all the other stuff is not optical as far as I can tell. Here is the sound test. I mean, it's it's basically obligatory at this point. Here's the mic, like right here, and... And it's rated for 70 million clicks, so it's probably going to outlast you. Now it's lightweight at 74 grams. I was used to 104 grams of the Lenser Head Lens Head tournament, and I mean I liked that mouse. I didn't actually feel like it was too bulky or too heavy, but this the 30 gram difference between them makes a world of difference. Um, and it's doing all that with a battery because this is wireless. Do remember that. There are five onboard memory profiles and you don't need to actually have an account for uh, Synapse to actually use that to fiddle around with those profiles. Aside from Chroma, Chroma does not get saved to, to those profiles. So once you set it on Synapse, it's done. You need to go into Synapse again to change it off. And this is weird because one, why not actually save it to the profile in the uh, the actual mouse? I uh, don't really see a reason for that. And second, there is no Synapse software for Mac. So right now I'm using this with Mac OS. And I mean, I turned it off on Windows when I was gaming because that's how you get the best, better life possible. And now it's off permanently. Either I go back into Windows and turn it back on or it's just gonna stay off. This is dumb. Why not make some way for us to control the lighting without the need for Synapse? 100% PTFE feet that glide like crazy. Again, 70 hours worth of battery life without the lighting. And for charging, it comes with a dock, which is a pretty elegant solution. And you just plop it on there every time you're not using the mouse or like once a week when you're going to bed on Sunday, for example, and you're good for the entire week using this. It does come with a 1.8 meter super lightweight cable that I did not test. I mean, took it out of the box, looked at it nice. It feels like it's not gonna kink and it's gonna be flexible and all that. 
but this is a wireless version, so I didn't even try it. I plugged the cable to the system in the dock, got the dongle from the mouse into the dock, and that's it, never plugged in. I'm gonna have to actually untangle everything so I can record B-roll for you guys, but yeah. It's compatible with Xbox One for basic input. In theory, I do not have an Xbox One, so I cannot try it. There's a button underneath for DPI adjustment directly on the mouse and a switch to turn the mouse on and off. And there is a space for you to, you know, store the 2.4 gigahertz dongle at the bottom. So if you want to take the mouse somewhere else and it's like fully juiced, you don't actually need to take the entire cable plus dock station or anything like that. Just get your dongle from the dock station, put it inside the mouse and just take it with you. Awesome implementation. I love the flexibility you get with the Viper Ultimate. The design is ambidextrous and not too curvy, about 126.7 millimeters in length, 66.2 in width, and 37.8 in height. It doesn't slump too quickly either to the front, back, or the sides. The rubber strips on the sides help with a better grip, and for mine sort of mixed palm slash claw grip, this is just awesome. It never, I never feel like I don't have this under control, and it's always like, it's part of my hand. It's part of my hand. Now, truth be told, I am not the type of gamer to open up aiming centric uh, applications to help me improve. I just log into the games and grind my way upwards. And I've been doing that since CS 1.2 and TFC actually. And for the past several months, maybe like a year, I've been playing almost exclusively Overwatch, which uh, kind of reminds me I need to update my game library. And I'm super pumped for Cyberpunk, not the Cybertruck, Cyberpunk, the game. That's probably gonna be amazing. Anyway, I did perceive an improvement in my gameplay directly on Overwatch. I do not play with flick-centric characters and I do not snipe all that often, so I'm much more into tracking and I did perceive a great improvement in my tracking ability while using the Viper Ultimate. It has nothing to do with the sensors. I would bet that it's nothing to do with the sensors. It's 100% connected to the fact that this is lighter and it doesn't have the cord, so no hindrances in actually using the mouse for gaming. And this is just like a joy. I'm not sure if it's more on the weight side or more on the wireless side that I'm seeing these improvements, but it's just like the package. Now from here, I know I'm gonna have to test wired lighter mice so that I understand if it's more the weight or the lack of the cord that has actually been such an improvement for me compared to my previous experiences. But I would tell you something, even if it's just the weight and not the wireless nature, I'm probably gonna take that hit because the convenience of this package is just too much to ignore. Yes, 150 bucks for the mouse plus the dock is a steep price. But remember, we're talking about Razer. So yeah, you can find other wireless mouse that are not as expensive, but you're not gonna find any that come close to being as good as the Viper Ultimate. This is the new king of wireless mice. Yes, it's lightweight. Maybe it's not your thing. It wasn't mine, but as soon as I started playing with this, it kind of became my thing. I am loving this, loving it. Anyway, that's been it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, so leave any comments or suggestions down below as usual. If you're feeling like it, like, subscribe, hit the bell and all the other buttons if you want. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.